Hello creative designers and welcome on to the tutorial. My name is Peter and on today's tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can add this uh, currency converter uh, all for free. The plugin that we're going to use is a very good plugin because it will even help you to even show this currency switcher in specific page and also disable on specific page. The other thing about these plugins that you just allow you to use as much as many as the currency as you can as they have provided it will also uh, the plugin will also have the free converter to just uh, to help you to convert the money automatically you just have to go and get the api key i'll just provide you with the link on where you can uh, get the api key you'll find the link on the description and on that let me just show you uh, what i mean when in a blog page, you will not be able to see the the widget, but when you just go to shop, you'll be able to see the uh, the currency switcher widget. The next thing is that you can select the currency on certain. Uh, you can select the product on certain currency, like that. You move it to the cart. When on on, on the view cart. You just view the currency you just view your whole amount in a different currency and you proceed to checkout and you do your checkout on another different currency that the best thing about the plugin that we're going to highlight on this tutorial remember to hit the subscribe button because i'm going to provide more tutorial on this youtube channel hit the like hit the like button it will just help this tutorial and by the end of this tutorial you'll have the knowledge on how to have this WooCommerce uh, currency switcher or for free and without further ado let's just get into action and I show you how you're going to do it thank you so the first thing we need to do we need to get the dashboard add on the dashboard menu scroll to where you have the plugin and on offer you see we have these three options select and select the second option a new plugin because you're going to install a new plugin uh, you need to search for the plugin that you're going to use the plugin is called woocommerce currency switcher by woobiwo it is a free plugin that you are just allow you to do much you can see it's called woocommerce currency switcher by woobiwo it has 3000 active installation uh, it has 4.5 uh latin last updated two weeks ago we need to install the plugin after successful installation we need to activate the plugin after successful activation of the plugin now we have the button for the currency if you want to have some overview of, the, of them just click on the overview and you see it has just it shares a, uh, to just show you much about your website and so on if you want to set the setting you need to come to woocommerce and you can click on setting all else you can come on woocurrency and on hofa you see the, the two buttons here select the setting on the setting now we have the currency has been added here there are, are there a few things i tried i was trying to do so uh, the first you can see my website is having uh, my website has usd as the main and you can see it has even for the Kenya shillings I had tried, but I'm gonna show you how to add them. So you just click on add currency. You don't click on add in currency, you can set to your main currency here. And you need to search for the currency that you want to use. I want to use Kenya shillings. Here I have it. And I want to use show the sense. And I also want to show the send for the currency. Don't click get the rate for now. Don't click if you have done, if you have clicked, click, get back, reinstall the plugin because you have some error, you not be able to save it. So let's add a new, another, uh, another currency. I want to have your USD. I want to use this as main. Kenya shillings as the main. So after that show the scent here and from there you can also add as many as you want 
So let me remove the last one. I want to have this three currency, but you can add as many as you can. From there, save the changes. After you save the changes, you come to your website here. Refresh it, and you'll be able to see the page, uh, all the currency that you have added. If you click on, on USD, just change the full uh, to currency to USD. If you change to Euro, it will just change automatically. You see, it just show. But you can see it is not changing because we have not got the rate. You see, it is still main either 40 Kenya shilling, 40 USD, or 40 euros. So we need to come here and get the rate. And also click here to get the rate. And the main currency remain like that. And click save changes. On saving the changes, refresh again. Now you'll be able to see when you click on Euro USD to just convert this now to the amount that's supposed to be on USD to just convert the currency for you. Click again on Euro, it will just go even much lower because the Euro is much stronger than USD. That how you can convert it. Let's now go to some extra setting. You can also decide to add some more setting here and there and add and get the rate again and do the same again. So let's go now to option, uh, the currency accelerator. You have the zip to compare. There is a free and we have even the free converter. If you have the key for the free converter, just uh, if you have the free, uh, free API key, just insert them. If you don't have, hold on this uh, toolkit here and click on instruction. Enter your email and when I just enter my email and I click I'm not a robot, I will need to verify the, with the recapture. Google recapture is for security purposes. Like that. And you need to click get the API. You can see I have received the API, so I need to get my email and get the API. So I have got my key, so I need to paste them, to paste my key here. And it's already pasted, and I need to save the changes. All other these are, are for provision. We don't have the provision, you can also disable for some URLs, but I'm not going to disable it. I want it to be like that. From there, now we go to front end switcher. Here is where you are going to customize the way it look and you can get it the way it was. From there, you can disable or enable. Type, do you want it to be? You can see on Hofa, one click, you see how it's going. You can click, when you click on it, you see how it look like. Simple, you have even for the simple. That's the way it look like, but I want to be rotating like that. How that's how it look like. Toggle on switcher. Yeah, you can click on click and select that how it will work. Move currency switcher on top. Yeah, but I just want it to be the way it is. Another setting I don't think you need to uh, to set, but you can decide to even show the currency and move this uh this word these ones and decide to show the the symbols but i want it to be the way it is uh, the other one show the flag is the pro version position do you want them on light or left position i want it to be like that uh offset uh you can say to use on desktop maybe if you decide to use on zero you see how it will look like when you click on offset. I want it to be 50 to be on set on center. That way to be pressed on mobile. I just want it to be uh, 5%. Transparency. Uh, I don't. I will not show. Uh, I will not customize on transparency. Let's go to share borders. Uh, to show border. 
you can decide to show bolder and you can select the color if this is about, about customization i just want it to be customized text color you can background you can set check for the active uh, on hofer this is on hofer and once you once it's static before you even uh select it that's how it look like uh rotating block you can even select and customize that but i'm not going to set that so from there once you save it there's one thing i just want to show you this will be much of help to those people who just, who have been type uh, giving me some comment how you can uh, customize to show on certain page to show on desktop and on that so uh this was my setting for yesterday so i just want to show you once i select uh, uh let's start with the first one before i get there show on i just want it to be shown on mobile and desktop uh show on screen yeah i want to i will not set that let it be like that display everywhere yeah you can display everywhere you can disable if you disable this one to not show it will not be shown on each page so once if you don't want to be shown on all pages you just disable it here from here now which pages do you want to be shown let's first of all select the card and i show you so once you refresh here once we save it there and we refresh here you see it is not being shown in the home page but once i go to add to card view the card let's come back here select the page that we're going we want it to be shown let's refresh on the card you see how it's shown it's shown here you see yeah it's also been shown so that means it will be shown in every pages i don't know why this display everywhere this mean select the page yeah you disable this one and you select specific page to be shown i have so many pages here i have some duplicate page yeah so i have some duplicate page here and i'm not sure maybe that's the reason why we were not seeing it on some pages yeah here you have it so when you decide to go to women this is a category or maybe on news it will not be shown yeah that's how to be the reason why it was not showing when i selected here so when i selected some pages is because i have some pages which are duplicate yeah maybe the time i was installing the, the demo uh, i duplicate the page and i never knew so you need to come here and display everywhere disable if you want to just show it on specific pages and select the pages that you just want to show the pay uh the currency switcher so you can see on blog page we don't have it but when you go on home page because we have the product that you are going to sell it will be shown that how you can do that setting uh product category you can decide to show on specific category and on custom post you can decide to select on whichever the post uh, post type you just want to show the current switcher uh show pop-up message for uh this one is for provision we are not going if you want to use the this shortcut create uh, to add this function in a page maybe when you're using elementor you can use when you just want to inject this code in your page you just use the php this code and the widget version just use this code to create the function in your website and you just start you just have your setting and i think we are done the only thing you need to do is we just select you can see we select some few products here and we go we move to the cart where in the cart i just want to view this in kenya shillings so i just select here on kenya shillings you can see it just converted the money automatically and we proceed to checkout and i can do even the checkout in the usd 
that the best and the fun part of using this plugin is this is not a sponsored video i was just doing my research and i just came across the plugin and i said that this is the best plugin uh, for you to be having if you're having your e-commerce website remember to hit the subscribe button to this youtube channel because i'm pro i will be providing much much tutorials uh on my on this youtube channel hit the like button to help this tutorial thank you